The white interior on a Tesla Model 3 is renowned for being beautiful and I agree it looks fantastic. So today we're going to be discussing should you buy a Tesla with white interior? Now before we start discussing the white interior of the Tesla, just what quick feedback, what you think of the new studio layout. I've changed the Tesla tequila bottle from being down here to fitting these new floating shelves here and here. And I think the studio looks a lot better and a lot cleaner now, a lot more interesting. If you're not already a subscriber of me, I make videos about electric cars every single week. Go and click that subscribe button down below. And if you're already a subscriber, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I make a new video. Now back to that white interior on a Tesla Model 3. If you weren't aware, it is an extra on top of the black colored leather that they already have. The white leather is an additional 1,000 pound to add to the Tesla. And it's not actually real leather. It's actually vegan leather. It's a fake leather. And it's basically one of the nicest white interiors I've personally seen on any car I've ever had. And as many of my subscribers already know, I have a Model 3 for work, which is white car, but with a black interior. So why didn't I get the white interior? Well, for the last five weeks, I've been driving a black Model 3 with white interior because Tesla have had to loan me this car while my car gets some paint issues sorted out, which will explain why it's taken five weeks when I find out from Tesla. But the white interior, I mean, you can see it from here, it looks stunning. You can see it, you can see the headrest, you can see the back of the seats, you can see the dash. It looks beautiful. And at night, you can see the black car with the white interior from miles away, and it's beautiful. There's just one small issue, and it's why I'm glad I didn't buy the white Model 3 interior, because I wear jeans. And after two weeks, the seats look like this. Now I know not everyone wears jeans, but most people have a family, maybe a dog. And if it stains that easily with blue jeans, imagine having kids in here with all sorts of different colored bits and bobs they're gonna have. Now, yes, you could clean it, but this is two weeks of just, I mean, just sitting in a car. They stain way too easily and the upkeep of this white leather is going to be a bloody nightmare. So although it's absolutely beautiful, a thousand pound extra for this fake vegan white leather, is it worth it? Although this is not my car, I still want to see how easy this is clean for everyone else. So I'm using what I normally use at the garage, which is Autoglam High Interior Foam. There's a link down below in the description if you want to buy it, but let's just find out if this works. So yes, in answer to my own question, it does get rid of the blue. What I have noticed though is these seats are a lot dirtier than I thought they were. There's, there's even some other marking up here that's not my leather. So if you do want the white interior, be prepared that it's a high intensive job to keep it looking as immaculate as it did when it was new. Now I want to know what you think, so let me know down in, below in the comments. Am I just being too fussy? Am I being too picky? Does it really bother you at all? Let me know down below in those comments. Thank you very much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like it, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.